Hey everybody, this is Royce here with Gates 3 Designs and I'm back with another episode. Today I wanted to do a video on Thea Render's light emitters. Um, I have a group of light bulbs here and I'm just going to apply some different emitter textures from the um, online repository. Here you can find that in your um, Thea browser and right under online repository just click emitters and you have a bunch of different options here um, and I just want to see what these look like rendered um, I'm using SketchUp Pro 2018 so let's go ahead and get started so for the first one we'll just start we'll just start with this one so I'm on well, let's start from this side so let's start with this here just apply it to that one and you can kind of see it change a little bit that's how you know the um, texture was applied um, I actually think this is the same one um, but it's labeled different here let's just try it apply that one to there apply that one there apply that one there oh it looks like that one applied to the whole I just want the bulb Let's do that again. Okay, right there. Okay, um, so that's four. I got these four. Let's try this one here. Let's go ahead and move to the next category. Yeah, for these three, let's do so right here. Oh, I'm going to have to explode these so they're not the same texture. Um, it looks like I have to explode it twice. Let's just go ahead and do that. Or more than that. So let's go ahead and apply this one now. Oh, we got all of it highlighted. Okay. And explode this. And then ex explode this here. Okay. And I'm going to use this cold one. Okay, that's applied. It turned really dark. And let's explode this. Um, explode again. Okay. And let's add this one here. So let's see what these look like rendered. So um, let me pull up my. All right. So this is a rendering of all those bulbs um, without the the render emitter texture. Now let's see what it looks like rendered. See, so you get multiple different lights. Um, some look the same. Like I figured these would be the exact same. I think there's a little bit of difference. Like you get a little bit of the yellowish orange, like very, very light. But it could be the same. It could be my eyes, but. If you look at the reflection also, you can see how the what color, what, what emitter it lets off. Like this one's a really, really, this is a really dark, almost like the sun in the evening. Um, you know what? Let's do like a reflective background. Let's just to see if we can get a better look. Um, so let's go back to online repository. I like to use the ceramic here all right let's go ahead and see what it looks like with that background okay so yeah actually these are pretty similar Th this one here and this one and I thought they were pretty similar I don't know why in the in the title there was a slight difference but I think it was the same wattage but it was it was a slight different like one was number 59 the other one was 65 or something weird like that but you can see the difference here and here here and then these are kind of similar if you look at the reflection it's a little lighter a little colder which I think I chose the cold um, light for this one and if you look at this one it's a little warmer so these are three, these are, or not three, but these are different lights. Um, 
that you can use with the render um, gives you a realistic look. I like I like the render. Um, if you want to try it out, you can just go to theorender.com and use the try version. Just note that when you do a render, you're going to get the Thea Render logos across your screen until you get your license. And once you get your license, then you don't have to worry about that Thea Render logo. But that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it informative. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thanks.